Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Breathe in a way that feels nourishing to the body, because this is nourishing for the mind as well. The mind needs food just like the body needs food, although the mind feeds on a different kind of food. It feeds on sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. It feeds on its intentions. It wants to do this, wants to do that, wants things to be this way, wants them to be that way. And then we feed on that, and sometimes it's bad food for us. So we have to learn how to fix our food right. Meditation is good food for the mind, because it nourishes you with something that actually strengthens the mind. If you spend all your time saying, I want this to be pretty, I want this to sound nice, I want this to smell nice, I want this to be that way, I want this to be this way, the mind itself gets very weak. It has to depend on things being just so. And then if things change, then you can't survive anymore. That kind of mind is weak. Because the world is going to change. Aging, illness, and death are going to come for sure, and lots of other things are going to come that we have to be strengthened for. And if everything has to be just so in order for us to be able to live with a sense of well-being, then the mind is really weak. So you want to make the mind strong by feeding it with mindfulness, feeding it with your persistence, your conviction, all the strengths that the Buddha talks about. That's what gives the mind strength. As we meditate here, we're strengthening our mindfulness, we're strengthening our concentration. And when mindfulness and concentration are good, then when negative things happen, we can remember, oh, we don't have to depend on things being such and such a way, but we can depend on ourselves. And the concentration itself gives you a sense of well-being that you can rely on, much more dependable than the well-being you might get out there in the world. So this kind of food really gives you strength. So feed the mind well with concentration, feed it well with discernment, so that whatever comes up, okay, the mind will be strong. It can fend off whatever happens, good or bad, so that these things don't make inroads in on the mind. That way, whatever the world throws at you, you'll be able to catch and you won't have to, you won't have to be hit by things. Mindfulness will be there to protect you. Concentration will protect you. These are real strengths of the mind, which is why this is the best way to feed the mind. Keep it well nourished. <laughs>